Hey guys, it's Josh here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use short videos to help grow your business and to help you save, and I mean seriously help you save some time. For the past couple of years, I've been doing a variety of different types of short videos in two main categories, and that's what we're gonna go over in this video. I'm gonna show you how to use short videos for clients and customers, but then also for your team, or even if you're collaborating with colleagues or subcontractors, you can use short videos in a variety of different ways to help save you a lot of time. And as you'll find, it will help grow your business as well. So let's dive into it. Now, first things first, before we start getting into how to use short videos for clients and for your team, we need to talk about the tools and the actual ways to create short videos. Now, the primary tool that I use for this is called Loom. A lot of you are probably already familiar with this, and if you aren't, you are missing out, but luckily, Loom is awesome and it's free. Now, there is a premium and pro version of Loom, but the free version is generally fine. It's what I use. And I do have a link below to a tutorial on how to use Loom. So make sure if you're interested in using Loom that you check that out. I'll walk you through it in detail, but I use Loom in a variety of different ways for, again, for both clients and for my team. And it's just a great free tool. It's an app and it's also an extension on Chrome. So you can use it in a couple different ways. So Loom is the main option that I use and the one that I recommend. Now, another one is called Magnify. This is a site that I actually use to capture all of my video testimonials. Now, the cool thing about Magnify is you can also use this for creating quick videos for either case study style videos, uh, one cool thing that Magnify does now is video email. So there's a lot of different purposes for Magnify. I primarily use it for capturing student uh, testimonials and client testimonials for both of my businesses, but it's a great option for you. And right now, uh, at the time of doing this video, it's only like 39 bucks a month to do that. And you can try it out for free. So you can give it a whirl. So check that out. And then another one, now I don't use this one personally, but I have some colleagues who use this and speak very highly of it. And that's called Bonjoro. This is another service that's very similar between Loom and Magnify for sending short videos. And they have some advanced options for their um, services and, and what they offer in that platform as well. So that's one that's worthwhile checking out. The price point is a little bit higher than Magnify and Loom for the premium versions, but definitely a solid option. So those are three, there are plenty more, but those are the three that I either use or recommend from my colleagues as well. So let's talk about practically how to do this in these couple different areas. Starting out with number one, clients. So whether it's a client or a customer, the main way that I've found that short videos have really helped grow my business are through short social media videos. These are quick little videos that you can do through Loom or different platforms. Like I actually use a, a program called ScreenFlow for Mac, which is where I record a lot of my videos, but there's a little more video editing that needs to take place when you use some of these other programs. This is why I recommended Loom, Magnify, and some of these other ones. Uh, but I use ScreenFlow for Mac. Camtasia is a similar one for those of you on PC. But short social media videos, guys, are the way to go. Reason being is because people on social media have such bad ADD. They want to see something quick and then move on. And a lot of times what I've done to, to great success over the past couple of years is to promote a product or service or even recently I promote my podcast with a short video. So for example, my podcasts are often a half an hour to an hour or longer chances are somebody on Facebook is not going to sit that long and watch or listen to a podcast. But what they will watch is about a minute or two video of me talking about some pointers from it or giving a teaser of the episode. So a lot of you who follow my social media, you see me do these quick teasers and it's been a huge engagement. So I'd recommend doing something like that for your business as well. And then you can also use this for showcasing case studies or testimonials. If you want to say you had a great client experience or how you helped a business with their website or something, you could share or showcase a quick video with that website or even link in a, a testimonial or something. So either way, however you do it, short videos on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Tiki Talk, or whatever the kids are on these days, great, great options and short videos are the way to go. Now, number two is to respond to emails or provide next steps. Um, so a lot of times what I'll do is when, particularly for my students, if they invest in a course, uh, some of you who have bought some of my courses recently, I've, you've probably seen this, I reach out with a Loom video and I'll say, hey, welcome to the course. I uh, would love to hear your story, hear, uh, you know, hear about where you're at so I can better help and then maybe give them like next steps or information that they could use 
as far as things they can do moving forward. And I do the same thing with clients as well. So a lot of times if we get a really good grade A lead, I'll reach out with a video and say, hey, got your lead. We're going to review some of the details and we'll get back to you. Thanks for reaching out. Looking, look, you know, looking forward to talking with you here soon or something like that. And one thing I do want to recommend is when it comes to conversions and how to use short video with conversions, check out episode 36 of my po podcast with uh, Jason Garcia, who talks about this in a little more detail. I'll link that below. You will not be sorry you listened to this episode, particularly that portion of the episode. So number two, quick responses to emails and next steps when you're in the lead process. Number three, and here's a big one. Hear me on this. Try this out. When you're doing a quote or your next proposal, do a short video walkthrough. I started doing this about a year ago and like a very high percentage of people I would send my proposals through with a short video walking them through the proposal, we saw a huge engagement and huge conversions on that because most web designers just send a proposal over and that's it. There may be no follow-up. But if you do an actual quick video, maybe a few minutes or a five, I wouldn't do anything over a 10 minute video, but maybe like a five minute video of walking them through the uh, proposal to help them understand what you're sending over and explain the value, it's gonna be huge in converting more clients. So number three is to do short videos for proposals or like quote walkthroughs. Now number four is a customer thanks or next step. So similar to a response to like a leads email, um, as I mentioned, I do that for a lot of my customers who, who customers who purchase a course, and I would absolutely recommend that you do this when somebody buys your service or product. So, and number two, what I was referencing to was more like when emails come in as leads. But in this case, what I would not neglect is to reach out with a quick video after somebody buys your product or service. So, for example. Uh, when somebody signs up for my maintenance plan, a lot of times I'll, I have like a template built out that I send them as far as next steps. Well, now what I'm starting to do is include a quick video, a little loom video that says, hey, got your order for the maintenance plan. We're really excited to maintain your site moving forward. Below are the next steps to take and just to have for your reference. Could be as simple as that. Very, very quick, very, very effective. Number five is to do or to utilize quick videos for clients and customers for quick walkthroughs and trainings. So what I've found is particularly on the client end of things, a lot of times writing something out in email, particularly if you're explaining how to do something with a client will take forever or it can take a long time. Whereas if you can just do a quick screen recording with Loom or another tool that we've gone over, you can cut your time, I was gonna say in a half, but I'm sure it's more than that. And then they can actually watch you do something. So for those who are a little more visual, it's a great way to go. And then you could, under the video, list out the steps to take, or something like that for people who wanna have like a checklist. But doing a quick video walkthrough and training for your clients will be huge and it will save you a lot of time. And then finally, number six, the other avenue I use short videos to help grow my business for clients and customers are check-ins. Now you can do this personal, like one-to-one, -one, or you can do this with a whole email list of all your clients. I would recommend doing this for your best clients, your A, B clients, and it would be a personal check-in to see how they're doing, particularly for clients who haven't heard from you in a while. It's a great way to potentially get some more business because if it's been several months or half a year since they've heard from you or you've heard from them, you might just record a quick Loom video asking how they're doing, asking if there's any ways that you know you can do any ad additions or updates on their site, if there's any challenges or struggles that they're having or questions about how they can better their web design presence, then use this opportunity. And I'm telling you, if you do a quick video, it's a lot better than just an email. An email is great. A check-in email is awesome, but you know what's way better? An actual video from you, doesn't have to be long, that just says, hey guys, it's Josh here. I just wanted to check in to see how you're doing, how the website's treating you, or you know, how you're doing with the website, um, how leads are doing. Is there anything that we can help out with? Do you have any questions on things we can do to better the website and better the web presence? Those will lead to so many more avenues of work for you, I promise. And I can guarantee that because I've seen it happen in my own business. So um, real quick, as a recap for clients, short social media videos, variety of different ways, promoting services and content that you have. Number two is to respond to leads with personalized emails. Number three is to do quick videos for proposals or proposal and quotes. 
Number four is to make sure to do a quick video after a customer purchase from you, that purchases from you, excuse me, that's a big one. Number five is to do a quick walkthrough video for trainings anytime you can do that instead of writing something out. And then finally, do those check-ins. Now, those are my tips for the client and customer side of things. But what about your internal team or your colleagues or people you're working with? Yes, you can absolutely use short videos to save you so, so much time in this area. And I've got three main ways. Number one is an overview on projects. So with my lead designer, Jonathan, what I started doing is once we got the proposal going and the client signed on, we got the strategy of the website in place and everything, Previously, when working on my own, everything was right here in my head. But I realized I've got to figure out how to articulate everything that's in my mind as a plan of action for my team. And it was very time consuming to do that strictly written out. Now, I do write out deliverables and a list of things to do and things like that. But what I do now is generally an overview of the project. So I'll say, all right, we're on board with this one. Here's the main plan. Here's the strategy. And then I do a quick overview of the main goals and my thoughts as far as what I think we should do moving forward on the project. And then we're off and running. So an overview of projects, you can do a short video. Again, with Loom is what I use. Great way to go to save you some time. The next one, number two, is for feedback. How many times have you guys wasted so much time doing revisions and feedback over and over and over just with email. It can take forever. And if you do it all written, something that could be articulated in about 30 seconds or a minute on a video could take you 10 times that long with somebody writing out, particularly if they're not very good at articulating their thoughts in written form. So if you do short videos for feedback, promise it's going to save you a lot of time. And that's what we do all the time. I have like a whole folder with Loom. Again, if you're interested with using Loom, make sure you check out the video below because I'm going to walk you through how to use Loom. And I have a whole folder dedicated to just revisions and feedback. And it's a great way to go. And then you can delete those videos moving forward. And then finally, number three, just like we did with clients and customers, our quick training videos and walkthroughs for your team. So same thing. Imagine how much time, or you probably know if you've scaled your business, how much time it takes to do training and you have to write out documentation. And that's still a good practice to have, to have things written out, but you can save a lot of time if you just record yourself doing a task. So instead of having to write out how you might submit a site to Google Search Console or something like that, if you just had a quick walkthrough of how to do it, your team can take that, they can run with it, and it's gonna save everyone time. And that's the good life right there, guys, if you and your team and your colleagues are saving time with stuff. So overview of projects, number one, Feedback and reviews, that's another great place to use short videos. And then finally, again, quick trainings and walkthroughs. And there you go, guys. Those are my tips and recommendations on how to use quick videos to grow your business and save you some serious time. What I recommend doing, my challenge to you is to implement this. Check out Loom, check out Magnify or any other tools. I mean, we do have this tool right here in our pocket that is very valuable, but there's something about being able to actually quickly record something and just send it with a click without having to edit it and export it. Again, I use ScreenFlow for Mac for this video and my tutorials, but it's a little more time intensive. These quick video tools are really great assets for your business. And again, it's going to help you grow your business and save some serious time. So hope you enjoyed this. If you're going to use Loom, make sure you check out the tutorial below where I'll walk you through Loom in a little more detail. And I can't wait to hear how it helps you in your business. Let me know how this one helps you out and I'll see you guys here on another video soon.